10 count, please. One, two, three, four. Um, I, I feel confident that if we had to, if there was a problem with the International Space Station, we can get in our spacecraft and we can undock, talk to our team, and figure out the best way to come home. Um, yeah, we've, like I said, we've practiced a lot, so I have a feeling, I have a, a real good feeling in my heart that uh, this spacecraft will, br will bring us home, no problem. Five, four, three, two, one, ignition and liftoff of Starliner and Atlas V, carrying two American heroes, drawing a line to the stars for all of us. Calling down to Mission Control here in Houston that the spacecraft has begun rolling into the right attitude for its ascent, and the guidance, navigation, and control officer here in the room seeing good data on that. And we are coming up on 30 meters from the International Space Station, getting a beautiful view now. Lots of cheering here in the room, big hugs. Threw in her blue flight suit. Oh. And followed shortly behind by Commander of Starliner, Butch Wilmore. Now back on the space station, the third visit for both astronauts and the first crewed flight test of the Starliner spacecraft. Everything's in place as far as what we know now. That's a, that is a good point. We are actually doing thruster testing as we speak at White Sands, New Mexico, going through that process, uh, trying to replicate what we saw on that flight day two when we were rendezvousing, and we are, we're going to learn from that. And we're going to incorporate new processes, new procedures that we will uh, employ if necessary. It feels good to float around. It feels good to be in space and work up here with the International Space Station team. So, yeah, it's great to be up here. So I, I'm not complaining. Butch isn't complaining that we're here for a couple weeks, um, extra weeks. Everyone looking very happy, like they had a great ride. Uh, I can tell you that this is, this is the, the world of test. This is a tough business that we're in. Human spaceflight is not easy in any regime, and there have been multiple issues with every spacecraft that's ever been designed, and that's the nature of what we do. You know, that mantra you've heard, failure is not an option. That's why we are staying here now. Soft capture confirmed. At uh, one and one quarters of a turn to the left. Okay, you're traveling down uh, PMA two, which is uh, where the docking adapters are on the very front of Space Station, and now you're entering into Starliner. So welcome uh, to Starliner for the very first time ever. We're touching down in the desert of New Mexico, marking the completion of orbital flight test two.